all you hear is people trying to point out how non non lethal this thing is and say, you know, look, there's a, a 0.26 mortality rate, a 99.997% survival rate, and look at the measures they're taking. Stop saying that. Let people know what the real deal is. That it doesn't matter how fucking deadly it is or isn't. Doesn't matter what there is out there. My rights and freedom don't get restricted or revoked by anyone. No one tells me what the fuck to do, where I can and cannot go, that I have to go lock myself in my fucking house and stay away from everyone who I can and cannot have in my own fucking home, that I have to shut my business down. No one has the right to do that under any circumstance. These people don't have a right to exist as an institution. Government is slavery. Having a ruling class constitutes slavery. Does not matter what you believe. That's the fact of the matter. These people have no authority over anyone. No authority to be telling anyone what they can and cannot do, where they can and cannot go, what they can and cannot put into their own body, you know, what they can and cannot possess as weaponry to be able to defend themselves and their loved ones and their community. No one has the right to do this onto anyone else. So that these people's position is illegitimate and immoral. Government is an immoral institution and it is inherently illegitimate and has no right to exist. So that is the solution, people, understanding this. You want to, you know, rail and rave against the fucking lockdown measures and the mask mandates and the curfews and the contact tracing and the, and the mandatory vaccines. You're just getting at the symptoms of the problem. You're just bitching at the symptoms of the problem and you don't understand truly why we're in this situation. You do not understand the causal factors from which all of this shit stems from. And that is the belief in authority, which comes from the ignorance of natural law and people not understanding what real morality is. What true morality is, what true human rights are, where they come from, and what real freedom actually is. That's where this whole shit comes from. Look, do I even have to say it? It's just common sense. Would we be in this situation if people did not believe in the legitimacy and necessity of having a ruling class? If people didn't believe in, the, in, in you know, these health officials and these governors and these police officers as authority figures? Could we be in this situation? Absolutely not. That's where it comes from. The belief in authority. And this is where the belief in authority gets us every single fucking time. No exceptions. And history has shown us nothing but that. Totalitarian takeover after totalitarian takeover after totalitarian takeover. And people still want to wonder why humanity keeps ending up in this predicament. Keep believing in authority and the necessity of government. And see where it gets you. It'll always lead right here. Total totalitarianism. And eventually to a point where we're just wiped the fuck out. You know, so I'm not saying people shouldn't be going and protesting and pushing back in every which way they could. But if you think it ends there, you're mistaken. These people at these protests think that they're advocating for freedom and that they're pro-freedom. When they're not, they're still authoritarians. Because mostly the people that are showing up to these protests are, you know, right-wing conservatives, you know, Trump supporters and cop supporters, which there's just an unbelievable amount of cognitive dissonance there in Stockholm Syndrome. These people still fall for the false left-right paradigm. They still back the blue. You know, the ones who are literally physically enforcing this tyranny and are shutting down these businesses and are finding them and stealing their inventory. You know, and you see videos of these business owners and even the customers in there, you know, when these fucking punks swoop in there, they shut these businesses down. You know, they they say, you know, we understand you guys are in a hard situation a difficult situation you know we, we we get you're just doing your job you know it's these governors that gotta go keep that mindset and see where the fuck it gets you you're gonna be out of out of a business out of work broke and have zero fucking freedom 
If you can't see that these people are the problem and they're the ones who give these politicians dictates teeth, if you can't see that, you don't understand that, I don't know what the fuck to tell you. There's no hope for you at this stage of the game. You need to understand that these people have zero right to do what they're doing regardless. They have no right to exist as an institution. You know, so this is this is where it all stems from. People not understanding rights and where they come from. Because if you go out into the street and you did a social experiment and you asked people to define what a right actually is, what a human right actually is, and where our rights actually come from, I guarantee a 99.995% of people are going to give you an incorrect definition of what a right is and have no idea where rights actually come from. You know, they'll, they'll say that our rights come from government or we get to make up our rights as we go along. And they'll tell you that, you know, well, you know, what our rights are is, well, we as human beings, we have a right to free health care and free education and free housing. You know, these fucking communists, these mind-controlled socialist communists in the Western world will tell you that that's what our rights are. You know, and no, that's not what human rights are. You have a right to go and, and, and acquire those things and obtain those things without anyone violently interfering and preventing you from obtaining those things. But you don't have a right to anything which requires the time and laboring energies of another. If someone is performing a service for you and it requires their time and laboring energies, you don't have a right to it for nothing unless that person who's performing the service agrees to performing that service for you for nothing. That's like saying, you know, I'm a plumber. That's like telling me that you have a right to have functioning um, plumbing at all times. And that I should, if you call me in to fucking swap out your faucet or, you know, unclog your sink, that you have a right to that service for nothing. It's exactly the same principle. No, you don't, unless I agree on performing that service for you for nothing. Unless I come there and say, yeah, don't worry about it, it's on the house. Then that's right action because... There's no coercion there, and two people are voluntarily mutual agreeing on uh, an interaction with each other. You know, but to go to a doctor or to a hospital and say, you know, you're going to give me a checkup or you're going to perform this procedure on me for nothing because I have a right to free health care. That's bullshit. That doctor or those doctors and nurses are performing a service onto you, which requires their time and laboring energies. Unless they consent to doing that and performing those procedures on you for nothing, then, then it's moral. And there's right action there because two, the two parties are mutually agreeing on, you know, a, a, a mutual voluntary interaction with each other. So again, free healthcare, free housing, free food, Free education, no. These are not human rights. You know, you have a right to go and acquire those things without anyone violently preventing you from acquiring those things. But to have those things provided for you for free, no. That's not what a right is. A right, a human right is an action. An action which does not initiate harm against other sentient beings and, and, you know, it's as simple as that, but you could further elaborate on it and say, like, as I do, an action which does not initiate harm against other sentient beings or that does not result in the theft or damage of their property. That is what our rights are. How can anyone disagree that that is what our rights are as human beings? We have a right to do whatever the fuck we want as long as we are not initiating harm against others, defrauding them or damaging or stealing their property. So these rights do not come from man or woman or any other being throughout the entire three-dimensional universe. Our rights are inherent to nature itself, to this reality itself. Our rights are inherent to creation itself. Because rights are actions that exist inherently and objectively in the fabric of this reality. You know, if you were to go up to a random person in the street 
and just fucking backhand them in the mouth. You would have no right to do that. Why would that be a wrongdoing? Is it a wrongdoing because you just decided that, no, that that's not a right action for me to take? Or that some human being decided in the past that, no, it's wrong to just randomly walk up to people and backhand them in the mouth? Or is that an, an objectively wrong action for human beings to take? Initiating harm. It's objective. So why or how is it objective? You know, what force put that objective action into effect that is there for us to discover human beings, intelligent life with the ability to discover the fact that something like that is an immoral action. What force put that into effect? It wasn't us, obviously. So it was the force which created this universe. Whatever you believe that force to be. Look, this is not a religious belief that I'm trying to spout here. It's just common sense. These are inherent truths. So the force which created all there is put these inherent truths into effect for us to discover and either align our behaviors with or live in opposition to. And whether or not we are living in harmony to objective morality or in opposition to it will depend upon the kind of reality we create in the aggregate. That's what natural law is. That's all natural law is, is understanding objective morality and either and, and, and living in harmony with it or ignoring it and living in opposition to it. And that will depend upon the kind of reality we create as a species. So again, we're born with equal birthrights. You know, no one possesses any more or any less than anyone else. They can't just for the simple fact that rights are actions and no one has the right to initiate harm. So we have the right to do as we please as long as harm is not initiated against others. So that makes us equal in birth rights. There's no process by which certain people can obtain special rights, the right to perform a wrongdoing, that it's only moral for them to perform, but it is immoral for everyone else to perform. That's impossible. It can only be believed that that can be done, but it's not real. It's not true in nature itself. And there's no process by which People could delegate or grant a wrongdoing to another person or group of people that would only be morally right for that person or group of people to perform. You cannot give something to someone that you do not inherently have. You can't say, well, I, as an individual, don't have the right to perform this action onto my neighbor or another human being, but I'm going to magically grant the right for this person or this group of people called government to perform these actions on my behalf that only they have the moral right to perform. That cannot be done in, in nature itself. That is a mind-controlled belief. That's all it is. So if you don't have the right to tax your neighbor, you know, or another human being, or you don't have the right to harass, extort, or put someone in a, in a cage for victimless crimes, you know, because that's what people need to understand. If there is no victim, there is no crime. If there's not an injured party or, you know, a party that has been defrauded or had their property damaged or stolen, there is no crime, no victim, no crime. But point is that if you don't have the right to tax your neighbor or, you know, extort them for having a fucking bad sticker on, on a car or jaywalking, you know, all this trivial, arbitrary bullshit that constitute victimless so-called crimes. You don't have the right to do this individually onto anyone else. No one does. No one does. And you cannot grant that right to another person or group of people to do on your behalf because you feel that'll keep society safe or whatever the fuck your rationale is or your reason is. 